right, uh, what the hell is this? Oh yeah, this McClellan guy, this uh, press secretary guy, I guess it was the first one for Bush. Um, well anyway, he wrote this stupid book and he's got all this Bush should have, Bush should have this, Bush should have, yeah, why didn't he say any of that crap while Bush was still president? So fuck him. You know, just an opportunist to write these books, you know. See a, a lame deck president just last, you know, waddles out of the White House. <clears throat> he puts out a book advising everybody what should have been. Fuck you. Um, ah, okay, people are running out of gas. Apparently people are, you know, price of gas has cost too much. Don't fill their tank. Running out of gas on the highways in higher numbers. Uh, I read some story, it's not really news, but it's this Uganda kid story, and it was really depressing. You know, some little nine-year-old kid who spends 12 hours a day smashing rocks into gravel. And uh, it's really pitiful. And you're saying, Jesus Christ, the world is just so fucked. You know, his mother died, and <clears throat> his father left him, and he's just living in a little mud shack all by himself. And he's nine years old, and he spends his day smashing gravel, and then goes home, and that's his life. And it's really dismal. It really fucking sucks that we can't do anything about any of this shit. We suck. Because we're too interested in NASCAR. So that was the other story. It's a big story of NASCAR. Some guy, Kyle something or other, won some races. Who the fuck cares, right? That's where we're going to waste our money so nine-year-olds can make gravel for the goddamn roads, right? Fuck. Uh, China, a lot of them people, you know, 80,000 of them were dead already, and then they got this flood problem because one of the rivers got blocked by the landslides. So they got to evacuate all these people, and some of them don't want to evacuate. And so who knows what's going to fucking happen if it all floods out. So, but anyway, it's always bad news over there. Uh, so eight people suffocated in Liberia uh, at a soccer match. See, while nine year olds are smashing gravel, assholes have nothing better to do with their time. They go fucking to soccer matches and smash each other, <laughs> crush each other, crush the breath out of each other. Oh, fucking people, come on. Uh, so the stock market should go crashing this week, yes, because you know all the big numbers come out in the first of the month. Uh, it's all, you know, all kinds of other indicators of downward pressure on the markets. Uh, so uh, probably gonna lose a few hundred points this week. Uh, it needs to use a few thousand, but we'll see what it does. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. The rest of these stories, uh, oh yeah, well the Iraqi numbers, death toll, almost broke the record for the lowest month of the war, um, just missed by one or two. Something like 21 dead this month instead of the usual 70 or 80 or 100. So it's a good month, but no one's going to really celebrate because they know, you know, who knows what's going to fucking happen. You know, you don't, you just don't know what the hell's coming next. You just don't know. So this could be the quiet before the storm, or it could be the quiet before the quiet. Who the fuck knows? So that's it. That's the news. That's all she wrote. Well, she didn't really write it. Nobody wrote it. That's why it's the good news and not the news. That's why there's no commercial interruptions because no one will sponsor this shit. There's no money to be made because I ain't selling anything worth any buying, right? Who the fuck would buy this shit? So, that's the end. That's all. I don't care. I'm done. Finished. Till the next time. Sorry I don't do more newses, but you know, it just doesn't pay. The women's ain't watching. Without the women's, it's just no fun.